Hey guys, it's Jan, your host of Jan's Reviews, and today I'm back with another predictions video for, of course, uh, Fear the Walking Dead. This one is going to be my official, uh, you know, trailer prediction review for the second half of, of course, uh, Fear the Walking Dead. So, this is for season four, second half. Uh, of course, the promo did drop last week, but of course, um, you know, it, it just got posted on AMC just uh, recently, so I'm not really sure why it took them so long to release it. But it's uploaded now, so I thought I would uh, give my thoughts on the uh, promo. Because, honestly, this promo does look really good. Okay, I'll, I'll give it that. The promo makes this look pretty epic, okay? Um, so, of course, after the mid-season finale, we get that huge death with uh, Madison getting killed off. Now we're kind of getting to see uh, that there is going to be a very kind of interesting take on the show after this. This is going to feel like a spinoff. I guarantee you. I guarantee you when we start this half, it's going to feel like a new show. Um, it looks like from what the rumors I've been hearing, Morgan's going to be taking over as the lead for Fear. Um, I'm not really sure how I feel about that, okay? And I, I know, you know, you could say, um, you know, who else is going to lead? You know, Madison's dead. You know, who's going to lead? I would honestly much rather see somebody like John take over. I think that would be just absolutely amazing because I'm sure everybody would love to see John lead. Um, you know, he could go from like that good guy to like that really that really fearsome leader or something. They they could do something like that with John. But again, that's been done with Rick, so maybe that's why they didn't want to go that route. But um, I'm just saying because uh, the stuff with Morgan. I mean, he he'd be my second for uh, leading, but I don't know. I feel like John would honestly carry that that show really well, but. If, you know, Morgan's going to lead, so be it. Because I honestly do like this uh, approach. Now, it looks like the idea of this second half is that they're going to be a group um, that... It, it looks like they're, they're going to be a group that uh, try to help people. Because um, it looks like Morgan says in the... He says in the trailer, you know, I've been through a lot. I think I can help you. So it looks like they're a group that are going to try to help people. Now, we'll have to see if they're all chilled out, okay? Because Charlie is in the mix, you know? And... I don't really see how they can relax, you know, with her being there, you know, after what happened with Nick. I, I don't, you know, so uh, me personally, I really see this as being, you know, you, you, when you have, uh, you know, Charlie, a character like Charlie in there, you really need to have a story arc where maybe you just have, uh, you know, Alicia, maybe, maybe she won't actually kill Charlie, but maybe she just is never actually good with her. You know, I, I'd like something like that, you know, but I don't want to see this big thing where she kind of kills Charlie and then, you know, then she's, you know, then something happens with Alicia. I don't want to see anything like that. Um, but I don't want her to kind of ignore the fact that she killed Nick. I, I want it to kind of still be acknowledged, uh, because it honestly seems like Fear the Walking Dead, they're really disrespecting what they did in the last couple seasons, uh, where they're pretty much just wiping out the cast, except for the characters that they thought maybe could have a story, like Alicia, they kind of keep her on, but I'm sorry, this really, they could have really, really um, made more of an effort to maybe keep more Fear characters, like keep Daniel, why, you know, where the heck is he, keep Daniel in there, you could have kept Troy from last season, especially if you only had this many characters now in Fear, Definitely, I would say they should have kept a couple of those season three characters, um, like maybe Jake, uh, you know, um, Troy. Um, keep some of those characters because now you're in a position where you're probably gonna have to bring on some new characters. Um, unless you're gonna give all these characters a lot of a lot of time, and this is gonna be it for fear, and this is the characters. These are the characters we have, and that's it. Um, I really don't see where they're going to go with this uh, story. And right now, I'm honestly, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not sure where they're going with this story at all anymore. Um, you know, this, this is why I don't do many predictions for fear, because I can't predict this show anymore. Um, and that's why this is mainly a trailer review. So the idea of this trailer, though, the one thing that they do advertise is that there's a storm coming. The walkers are flying everywhere. Now, um, I, I have watched a couple other zombie TV shows. Uh, and I am actually going to use one TV show as a really good example. I've watched this show, uh, Z Nation, a little while ago. Um, I'm in, uh, I think, like, near the end of season two right now. Um, you know, and they, they do, you know, that show is pretty cool, too. You know, they, they even kill off your lead in the sixth episode of uh, Z Nation. Um, you know, but of course, Z Nation is not exactly your your normal show because Z Nation's kind of, you know, you, you know, you got the goofiness in there. And then, of course, you also have... Um, 
you know, the zombies are more different. And of course, also Z Nation has, you know, the Murphy. So, you know, and of course, you know, Murphy is, you know, um, the, you know, the zombie that's, they're trying to get to California, but whatever. Um, you know, this is not the same story, okay? And I'm sure people haven't seen Z Nation, have no idea what I'm talking about. But anyway, just for sake, a show called Z Nation uh, that I, 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 I kind of stopped watching after a little while into the second season because I found that it was getting a little weird and, uh, you know, the story wasn't pushing forward too much. I, I stopped watching after The Collector. Um, that episode right there, I think that's when I quit. Um, but anyway, um, you know, they, they, that show is, is a perfect example because... You know, you have this show right here, Fear of the Walking Dead, where it looks like they're actually going to do the same thing. They're going to do the zombie NATO, which they did in Z Nation. Um, that's why I brought it up. Uh, in Z Nation, they did have the same kind of tornado episode type of thing. So all I'm saying basically uh, is to conclude is that I really hope that they don't, you know, copy that. Okay, that's, that's really what I'm saying. Um, I hope it's somewhat different. So um, you got that, of course. You got Strand. You caught me doing a light housekeeping, and uh, you know, you've got other stuff like that. Zombies flying everywhere. There's a storm coming, and you got Charlie, and she's you know staring at the zombie. And uh, you got Luciana in there. You got the others. Which what are they gonna do with her, really? You know. Um, but uh, I might do a death predictions for the second half of the season. If you guys want to see a death predictions for the second half, now I just did one like a couple weeks ago, but they 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 already changed so much. I feel like I got to do another one for the core characters we have now in Fear because we have, we've lost so many since then. So yeah, it's pretty crazy, especially you know Madison, of course, being the one that we lost you know recently. So. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. Write your comments below about this promo, and uh, I, I, uh, I will, uh, you know, of course, uh, maybe do a death predictions video for the second half. If you guys, if you guys want to see that. So anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.